guys, if you've been watching my Ever After High doll series, you'll know that I created some characters who are the daughters of Snow White and Rose Red. This video is about how I made a dorm room for them. Hayneedle.com is no longer selling those large white open cubes that I like. So I purchased this doll room box by Ella Doll from Amazon. And I purchased it last year when it was 239. I think if you go right now, it's 245. Because this thing costs so much money, I don't want to permanently attach anything to the floors or the walls. So I made a wooden floor by adding duct tape to a piece of foam board. This way, if I want to use this room for a different purpose, I can just remove the floor and remove all the furniture. In the story of Snow White and Rose Red, they live in a cottage in the forest. Outside of their door are two rose bushes, one growing red roses and the other one growing white roses. So I decided to make their headboards about these two rose bushes. I bought these two pieces from the Wood Shape store and I'm painting them dark brown. I'm going to glue these fabric roses to one of them, but unfortunately for the rose bush with the white roses, I had to buy four packs of these multicolored roses just to find enough white roses to cover that bush. I'm using these two wooden pieces as their footboards and I painted them gray. I found these charms shaped like branches at Joanne Fabrics and I'm going to glue two of them to each footboard. Okay, I've got my pile of white roses and my pile of red roses and it's time to glue them to the headboards. I think these turned out really lovely. And here is an early look at their footboards. To make their mattresses, I'm recycling two smooth foam blocks that I used previously for other beds. I picked out some very simple looking fabrics for their beds. I like this one because it reminds me of the woods. I liked this one for its sort of vine or leaf pattern. And I like this one for the red roses. I hot glued each of the black fabrics to the smooth foam blocks. And I didn't bother covering the end of the one side that is going to be facing the wall. And here you can see that I've hot glued both the headboards and the footboards to the beds. And you can also see that I've changed up the footboard design for the Daughter of Snow White, I chose this fabric as her blanket. And in order to make it more interesting, I am adding this beautiful silver leaf trim to the sides of her blanket. After I hot glued it to both sides, I felt it was still missing something. So I decided to hot glue a third piece down the middle. For the Daughter of Rose Red, I decided to use the fabric with the red roses. And I had some of the same trim in gold and just like i did with the other blanket i hot glued three pieces to the bedspread here's the pillow for the daughter of snow white in my ever after high doll series i name her ice slim white and i do think that it looks quite nice with her bed and here's the pillow for the daughter of rose red in my series her name is roslyn red and i did add a red rose to accent the pillow. I found this piece of doll furniture at the Dollar Tree and I thought it would be a nice nightstand for them. For the window seat area, I don't again want to put up anything permanent. So what I thought I'd do was add some vines and add red and white roses to it. Luckily, I still had these wall hooks and I also had the adhesives that go with them and these are removable. Here I've strung a garland of ivy through the wall hooks that I attached above the window frame. And here I've threaded some white and red roses through the ivy garland. It bothered me that their beds were so low to the ground that their blankets were kind of splayed out funny. So I decided to raise up the beds. To do that, I used these dowel rods from Woodpile and I painted them dark brown, like the headboards. And then I hot glued them to the head and foot of the bed, which raised the bed about an inch or an inch and a half. I thought I'd use these white roses to decorate the tops of the poles so that they look a little bit more interesting. So here's the finished bed for the Daughter of Snow White. And then I did the same thing to the other bed and I'll use these four red roses to decorate the tops of the poles as well. Ta-da! 
The beds are done and I'm happy now with the way the blankets are draping. I started placing some furniture, including the nightstand and an empty bookshelf. And I also had a postcard of Snow White and Rose Red that I ordered from Zazzle.com. It was really fun to pick out the miniatures that might go on their shelf. And I got these at Hobby Lobby. So obviously some books. And I did pick out this uh, set of chickens and eggs and their chicken coop. That's probably not going in the room, but it might go outside their cottage in the forest. Some fishing gear, a toolbox, because I figure they're pretty handy, a gardening kit and some gardening tools. And voila, I place them on their shelf. This window seat needs some cushions. To create a cushion, I measured out some fabric, folded it in half, and I'm hot gluing good side to good side. I left one side open so I could stuff in some leftover fabric, like these used felt pieces. And when stuffed, it gives the cushion some extra padding. So let's put in the window seat cushion. Ugh, it's a little bit too long or too wide. I kind of mismeasured. Oh well. There's too much empty space on the floors, so I added this rug from Amazon.com. Oh, and here are some nice last touches I found in my collection of miniatures. This little lantern can go on their nightstand. And then this little book charm looks so whimsical and innocent and fairy tale like I thought it could go on their shelf. And if you know the tale, you know that a bear is a very important part of their story. And I happen to also have this in my collection. Someday I might turn this into a lamp. And that's it guys. I hope you like this dorm room for the daughters of Snow White and Rose Red. Leave a comment for me and let me know what you think. <laughs>